Good afternoon, Mark. Good afternoon. First time we're speaking to you since the new contract was confirmed. Was it an easy decision for you in the end? Afternoon, all. Um, allow me to start in a different way. Um, sorry, and after I go direct for your question, and I have to talk about um, Mr. Bill Ken Wright. Okay. Um, firstly, of course, um, my condolences for for his family. For um, I have to say, that for the Everton family as well, and. Uh, was a pleasure for me to to share uh, some moments with a great man and a great Evertonian. And um, my first words, they, they are going for him and for for everybody that's around him and uh, for his family and for for the club as well. Because one of the one of the great persons that I I was able to work um, in that moments at Everton Football Club. About to the um, the moment, or if was uh, an easy one or not, was the decision that myself. And the club, of course, both parts they were happy to to take. Was as I said uh, in my statement as well. Um, was something that we have been talking a long time. Is something that we um, probably was could have happened earlier. To be to be honest, um, and was a decision. Was a, a simple one and easy one. Yeah. Yes, of course, mm, their support is being uh, really important, not just for me, for me, for for the players. Uh, the, the last two seasons and what we have achieved uh, in a quick time was really, really good. And of course, it's, it's good to to have the feeling that the fans, they are happy with everything that we have been doing in, in this football club. And uh, um, I keep asking them to support. The, we need, we are really in a, in a process. We want to get different things and to is going to be a hard work to get uh, this club as a recognition. Everyone recognizes this club as a Premier League club, definitely. And of course, after that, we, we have to go f to move forward and to to do different steps and to achieve different things. But um, the main one is that that one will take a lot of work from ourselves and the fans. They are going to be a key. And of course, if I feel that they are really happy that I'm I keep staying and working this football club. For me, I have to say that I'm, it's a pleasure to to feel that from the fans. At the end, we are working here to make them proud, and uh, is everything that is is a priority for me as a as a as a manager of this of this football club. And to be honest, they know um, they don't know everything, but most of the things they know from last season. Uh, some of the decisions that I, I took in the last summer as well, and of course, if I have committed with this football club, I'm keep fully committed with this football club. Moving on to some other areas, how near is Tosin? Um, good to see him uh, back in the on the grass. Of course, not fully involved with the, with the team. I think more one or two weeks is going to be fully involved in the with with the squad uh, in all the the moments of the, the session. Now, just individual stuff is is doing. But nice to see him there. Nice to see finally Kenny Kenny as well. Um, Adam is coming back too, and of course, just Issa looks a bit more. It will take a little bit more time. I, I cannot say to you it's going to be one or two weeks' time, but it's not to be too longer than that, to be to be honest. It's my feeling right now to see Tosin ready to go. And obviously with Tosin, there was interest in the summer. With his attitude, have you seen like full commitment of him for, from him to Fulham, or do you expect when the window opens again in January, he's going to be the topic of debate again? I don't know what is going to happen in January. What I, I'm going to... I'm sure, of course, is 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 my feeling really when he's going to be ready. He's going to be ready to to play 100% sure with our, with our shirt. And of course, what comes from the market in January next summer, with, not just with him, with the others, is everything. Not I'm not really focused on. Of course, we have to prepare ourselves as a club to be ready. But when Tosin is going to be ready, he's going to be another player from our squ squad uh, to be ready to help the team to to win football matches. Is what is because that we are working with him to get him his. In his best as, as soon as possible about the market is too soon to talk about it. Just one final question from me on your opponents on Sunday. You know, it wasn't that long ago that Brighton were almost on the brink of extinction as a football club. Last night they're beating the Giants of Europe, Ajax, yes. you know, in European competition. Their journey has been extraordinary. Yeah. I agree with you. It's been in an incredible journey for that football club and what they've been achieving, of course, um, behind the scenes. For sure, I'm not there, but big, big percentage of good decisions. 
in all the aspects of football, not just about uh, players, manners, in everything for sure. Uh, the, the, the percentage of big, the very good decisions is huge, in my opinion, is, is really big. And of course, their fans they are proud of. Everybody that works in that football club should be proud of what they have been achieving. Of course, last night they achieved the first win in Europe, I, I, I believe. And this is, is a really important step for them. And uh, But they, to be honest, they deserve it the way, not just last season. Of course, last season was was really good, but they, the way they have been the, giving the right steps. I remember when I, I think when I was in Watford long, some some time ago, there was the, the season that they, they, they went up and and uh, we start feeling from that moment how, how they, they, they have been growing as a, as a football club and uh, again, the recognition that they got from to be a Premier League club and uh, season after season they, they keep growing, growing and growing. And uh, I think is, is, is a very good example that, and they deserve really the credits for what they've been achieving. Would you say they're almost the blueprint for any club that isn't Manchester United, Liverpool, Arsenal, etc.? Would you say that they're almost the blueprint for how successful you can be if you run a club the right way? I think they, they have their way. They have their way. I think each club uh, should build uh, and, and create their, their own way to, to do the right, to, to the right things. But of course, we, we all we don't know what, what been they, they have been behind the scenes. I think football, I think is simple. Everyone knows more or less the, the things. But I think they have been uh, getting very good decisions, 100% sure. And as I said, they have their, their own way. Other clubs at the same level, they should get his own way and taking the best decisions they can. Uh, to prepare on the pitch and off the pitch, uh, and off the pitch as well, really well for this competition that is so so competitive. Thank you. Thanks very much. Muito obrigado. It's another tough one for us. Um, of course, we last season I think we did it really well the way we we played twice against them. Uh, if I remember, with two different managers as well. The first with with Graham and after with that Serbi. And uh, okay, there were six points. It was last season's already done, and we have to to go now for an, another game um, in a tough place to go. Not just for us, it's a tough place for any team that goes there to play. We know what they are capable to do it. Um, it's a game that is going to demand, I believe, in tactical point of view for us, we have to be almost perfect because they are going to demand this from ourselves. And the last game is a good example for us to prepare well this, this one. I think with the way we analyze the game and the way we we are preparing the next one is a, is, is a good moment for us because we, if you improve what we should from the last game in certain aspects of the of the game, um, clearly, we have an opportunity to be to be really competitive, to be at the level that the game, and to reach certain standards that the game is going to demand from ourselves. And after that moment, of course, to to play to to get points for us. Willian looks like he's performing at a really good level. He's aging very, very yes. well, as Amidia said. What has he been doing? Do you think that's really going to help him get back to these standards? Many things, many things. We with him, of course, our relationship is really close and. Uh, helps always. Uh, the confidence between each other is, is, is really important as well. Of course, without the quality of the player, you cannot do anything. You can have a, a great relationship with the player, you can have um, confidence in each other, but after if he doesn't have the quality that he, he has, it's going to be more difficult. Um, I'm repeating several times, William is a class, class player, is a top player. Um, even if a, a, a 35 years old is keeping um, most of his skills, they are there. And of course, the last few few games is is showing again his capacity and his quality. The last few games, he's being one of the best players on the on, on the pitch. Really nice to see him again for the level that he. I know that he's capable to play. We have to keep him as as, as fit as we can, of course, because he's a, he's a a key player for ourselves. He's a player that can make a difference in our in our attack in our, any moment of of the game. And really. He's, He's being really good to work with him. Really, my part of his quality as a foot player is really humble, humble person. At his age, he's always open to learn. He's always open to to improve something. He likes to win. He's a he's a winner. You know, you can see that in any training session, and it's really important for us. And pleasure to have him with us. And of course, we want to keep him as, in his condition for a long time. And of course, you've committed your future to the club. In your head, what is your what is your 
going forward? What do you want to see for the club? Do you want to improve on the temporary finish last season? Or is there not a specific uh, number in place? Is it, let me, I want to see this on the pitch. No, on the pitch is clear what I want to see. On the pitch, I want to, the, the, to see our team to game by game to improve. That is the main thing, to keep taking the best from our players, the, the, the players that we have, to keep working with them, to make better, make them better players, and at the end, to make us as a, as a collective uh, better team as well. That is a normal ambition for, for a manager. About what we wanted, of course, we are not talking about the position on the table right now. Is not the main thing, of course. We know what we did last season. We know how, how it was difficult, how it's going to be difficult to improve. But we are ambition uh, as well. The main thing for us uh, is to get this club, uh, to get the recognition as a Premier League club, definitely, to sustain this club as a Premier, uh, a Premier League club, definitely. And from that moment, um, to give the, the steps to improve every, every single season. That is uh, the, the main thing for us. You'll get a, a really hard work from ourselves, not just on the pitch, off the pitch as well. We have to improve and keep improving many things for us to be able to to be ready for everything that Premier League demands from you on and off the pitch. And this is the main thing, sustain recognition as a Premier League club and from that moment after to move on and to to define um, different goals and the more ambitious goals as well. Wonderful. Thank you. Thanks, Hi, Marco. Hi. Congratulations on the club. Thank you. Um, what is it about Fulham, why it's such a special club to you and why you feel home here and why has your management been such a success? I have to say that, um, and this is of course different, long, longer time in this club than in the others. But normally, I, I'm real, being real, feeling at home in an, any club that I have worked so far. And I'm not just talking about in Premier League in England as well. Um, I'm talking about all the clubs that I have been the, the pleasure to work and the people that I have been the, 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 the pleasure to work with as well. And of course, it's, it's, it's true. I'm feeling home. I'm feeling. From the first day, I've, I felt really welcome in this football club. But I have to say, and to be fair, that I felt the same in the other clubs as well. Of course, as, as more time you are in, in one football club, um, you get more connections, you get more, okay, the strong relationship with, with people as well. But normal, this, this relationship that I, we have been creating in this football club, we did the same in the others, and that, that is the, the, the true. Of course, football is about results. Football is about, even if you, all of us, we want more things. You want more the uh, looking for the project to take to have time for everything to build things as well. At the end, it's going to be a matter of results. In for me, for any measures at, at at this level, football, the new business of of football now is like that, and you have to to get results. And is one of the, the the main reasons why the things sometimes get longer because the passion of the people that is in charge as well. They they they, they believe and they trust in, the, in in a process, and we we really. Um, feel well in this football club but you know we are ambitious people i'm i'm not here just okay i'm i'm happy i'm at home and it's okay no i want more i want more for this football club i want more for my career as well i want to be as more competitive i can and of course just with ambition and real demanding i we, we can achieve it you're up against uh, the Manchester derby this this sunday um, how much do you admire him and, and impressed with him from a tactical standpoint what differences has he brought to brighton between him coming in and Graham Potter leaving. Okay, I will not com compare both because, firstly, because um, it's not fair. I'm not, I'm not the, the person to do it. Um, I have to give all the credits for what um, Graham did there, Graham Potter did there as well. Because um, last season, I remember when we played against them, they were top four in the, the, the table as well, and all that stuff. The way they started as well, and Roberto came and um, in a different style um, achieve brilliant things for that club. He's being exceptional for that football club as well. And keep doing the same. Um, clear way to play. Difficult to to stop in some moments as well. Quality players in the attack line, players that they can make the difference in 1v1 situations. Some key players that they have been long time in that football club that helps always that uh, the new ones to come and all, all, all that stuff and all the credits for the players and for Roberto for what we, he, he's been doing in that football club and it's going to be a tough one because it's clear but I repeat again it's clear what they try to do but it's difficult to to play against and of course you want to play at our best level to to get a good result and to win the football match. I think there are eight teams in the league playing in European competitions this season I put them on one of them but, but right and are from a managerial point of view, what are the positives and negatives of playing in the midweek in terms of fatigue and team selection? I know what is 
uh, because I had many experience at 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 same level and Champions League, Europe League as well, and I know what it means to to play in a, on a Tuesday or on Wednesday in the Champions League, and I know what it means to play on a Thursday on on, on the Europe League, and now in the Conference League as well, and these. Two sides of the coin. First one, of course, you want to be at where they are the best teams, and of course, you want to be that in European competition. Is to be proud of the, the, the things, make you to grow, make you to be ready in three in three days every every single time. And the other side, you don't have normal a normal week um, if you are going to play, for example, against Fulham right now. Of course, if the game is against other of the, the, the other seven teams that they are in European competitions is going to be the same. It's the two sides of the, the coin, but if you ask for all the clubs and all the managers, they will prefer to play, to have European competitions in the middle of the week.